Previously, I demonstrated how to install Debian Linux inside Oracle VM VirtualBox. I'm going to start it. Today, I'm going to talk about how to upgrade the Debian to the latest software. And of course, Debian being open source like all Linuxes, um, new software comes along very, very often. I log into the system. Takes a few seconds for it to log in. And we have a red warning sign. Whenever there's something red, I double click it. And of course, in order to make any changes, you need to be logged in as the root. Now, for this time, I will save it for this session. You can save it in a key ring, which I believe what it does is it allows all things like update manager etc to actually uh, use it whenever it wants to now the password is going to be remembered for this session because in effect what's going on underneath is a lot of sudos and I'll talk about sudo and su that's super in another session Okay, so here is all the packages which have changed, which need to be upgraded. And I just said install the updates. And you see the update manager is actually used as a super user. That's the admin. Or in Unix terms, the root user or super user. That's it. Here is actually underneath the GUI in any Unix. What's going on is real command line Unix, and this is what actually happened. And that's how simple it was to update my system there is another method of making sure that your system is up to date and that is to go to system administration and actually go into the update manager itself it seems that i was already in as a super user because the, the last time that i was using it i was as a super user and Normally, if you just log out and log back in and you go in the, here, um, and let me actually do that. Okay, I'm going to log in again. So now I'm logged in as myself, who is a normal user. And I go to the update manager and it asks me for the password and it checks and the system is up to date obviously because we just updated the system um, while I'm here I want to show you one other thing and that is the software center here is where you are going to get new software I normally go to the developer tools etc but that takes quite a long while for me I really have to think what I want on a system but I will just get one something or other keep a personal diary and when you be, you, you can either install or first decide if you want to do it or not and that seems a pretty easy thing and again 
whenever you want to make any changes to your system you need to authenticate as a super user so it gives asks for a password for root and it is installed uh, here you can see what are the software which you already have and you can actually remove it you can get information about it and okay that was installed so now it is in the appropriate folder so that's it for this session you learned how to upgrade your software now any software all the installed software whenever any of these need updating the update center will go and see that there is a new version of the software and it will download it and install it but it will give you a warning here or you can actually just go and ask for the update manager and of course this time since I had logged in as super user and I haven't yet logged out so we're in the same session I told it to keep my um, uh, root password for this session so it's still here thank you